what is a service desk? Why do you have a service desk? Well, this is how it started. We had uh, IT service desks running up. And in big companies that might have had a customer facing, might have been using ServiceNow or something else to suit the rest of the, their customers, they had these little pockets of uh, Atlassian users who were setting up their own internal service desks. And IT was the most common one. This is uh, sort of along the ITIL uh, way of working. Uh, Geo Service Desk is now ITIL certified. And this is for service requests, incidents, problems, changes. And this is a really common, most common use of service desk. And you put these request types in, you set them up, and you get a lovely portal where your customers can come along and uh, report issues and get help. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but you don't just have to use it for that. Here at Glintech, we're quite good at dog fooding and using our own products and doing what we tell our people to do. Um, we actually are quite good at using Service Desk. Um, we do all of our HR forms and things through our Service Desk. Um, we put our leave request, for example, through. And that goes through an approvals workflow, which you guys will know how to do in the second half of today. Um, and we also then link it up, and it goes straight into our team calendars in Confluence. So our leave calendar is automatically populated by people putting through the request and it getting approved. So you can see the leave here, um, whether it's a, you know, annual leave, it's personal leave, whether it's just requested, approved, that sort of thing. So once you understand how the service desk works, you can start to think of other ways that you might be able to apply it in your business. And it's all about making it easy for you to do things and not have to double handle things or have to send emails. Once we have away from using emails, because we have far too many, and service desk um, is a good way of starting that journey.